Hi, I'm Katie and I'm a registered dietitian. Today we're going to learn about protein. Let's head over to the market and get started. Welcome to the Above and Beyond Children's Museum Marketplace. Let's get learning today. So what is protein and what do we need it for? Protein is used by our bodies to help it build strong muscles and help it do the work that it needs to, such as running around at gym class or on the playground. Proteins are made up of amino acids. Let me demonstrate what I mean. The beads represent amino acids. There are different colors because there are different amino acids. Our body needs to get some of these amino acids in the food we eat. These are called essential amino acids and there are nine of them. When proteins are made, the amino acids can be assembled in a variety of ways depending on what the function of the protein is for the body. Once all the amino acids are assembled, the newly formed protein changes shape and can begin doing the work that it needs to. But what if we don't eat all the essential amino acids in our diet? Well, as the amino acids are being assembled, like the beads on this pipe cleaner, if the one we need is not present, the protein cannot be made and the work that is supposed to be done cannot be done. Some symptoms of not getting enough protein are tiredness and sluggishness. Our muscles may also shrink and not be able to grow. Let's dive into some foods that are good sources of protein. Animal products like chicken, beef, eggs, and fish are all excellent sources of protein. Animal products have all the essential amino acids that we need and are very high in protein. But we can also get protein from plant foods. This is important for people that do not like eating meat. Plant-based protein foods include nuts and seeds, nut butters like peanut butter and almond butter, beans like lima and kidney beans, and garbanzo beans and hummus. Even vegetables have protein such as avocado and Brussels sprouts. Other sources include quinoa and steel cut oats. Thanks for learning with me, let's digest. By eating a variety of these foods, we are more likely to get a variety of protein and the amino acids we need. 